Ho, ho, ho. Now that I've figured out these car videos, we're going to be all about it. It's going to be Vlog Central, you guys. Did you miss the vlogs? Did you miss them? Because they're, they're going to be back probably with this setup. I'm pretty damn excited about this. So, um, if you notice, I'm still wearing the same shit as the last video. I, I may upload this one next. I'm not sure. But either way, last car, <laughs> car vlog. Uh, last car video, I was wearing the same outfit. That's because that was this morning. This is tonight. Anyway, so, um, I thought I would talk a little bit about, like, some more, like, personal stuff that's been going on with me, um, because, like I said, I, this is stuff I've shared with you guys anyway, like, I don't know, like, I feel like part of the reason I'm here is to share my life experience with you guys and hopefully make your lives easier, so anyway, what have I been going through for the past <laughs> year, um, so, me and my ex-boyfriend broke up, and that was really fucking hard for me, the whole situation from start to finish. Um, I had poured everything I had into that relationship, you guys. Like, I just, I tried so hard. Like, I literally, I tried so hard. And nothing I did worked. And it took until, God, maybe, like, it's been seven months that we've broken up. It took maybe a month or two ago for me to finally realize, like, the reason that it never worked is because he didn't want it to. Like, I literally did everything to, to try to make it work. I, I gave him a free place to live. I gave, you know, I was taking care of his dog. I gave him a car to drive. Like, I, you know, all I wanted was for him to contribute anything, you guys. Like, this man couldn't be bothered. Like, all he could... The only thing that man could do is fucking wipe his own ass. Like, straight up. Like, everything else I did, I had to provide all of his food. I had to buy his energy drinks. Like, I gave him a place to live. I gave him a car. I'd pay for the gas in the car. Like, you guys, this man could do nothing for himself. And like I said, it took me up until about two months ago to realize, like, well, why would he when I'm doing it all for him? So, like, I was probably his biggest enabler. Um... And yeah, it just took a long time to stop blaming myself for it. Because it was like, I just felt so defeated when we broke up. Like, what else could I have done? And the answer is there's nothing else I could have done. Like I said, I literally gave him everything. And then I found out after, like, basically, just to, to be fucking real with you, like, it wasn't working because of that. Like, he was just not contributing. He wouldn't help me pay the bills. He wouldn't help me clean around the house. Um, getting him to even mow the grass was a nightmare. Like, he just was... A, big old baby like a big and honey if you are watching this first of all and you are a big old man child big old fucking man child like literally could not like it was like if he mowed the grass I better throw him a full-on fucking celebration I better talk about the grass for the next week until it grows back it, it, it was like literally like so ridiculous but I'm working you know 50 plus hours a week paying all of our bills doing everything by myself and I didn't even get a fucking thank you um, most of the time all I got was a fucking attitude so anyway you know I finally got so fed up with it I tried to hire him as you guys know it went terribly because basically he was just letting me do everything by my like I literally cannot put into words how lazy this guy was like literally he was letting me bust my ass like 10 plus hours a day grooming and then I would go home and he'd make me clean the whole van by myself and he would like pretend to clean and one day I finally figured out that he was pretending to clean like you are a grown ass man pretending to clean like I have literally worked with teenagers that have more motivation and um work ethic than this man and like I said, so I finally figured out, I'm like, you are literally doing nothing. I was like, you're making me do everything by myself. I was like, you are literally not helping. So finally, um, we got in a huge fight one day and I fired him and I was like, and you can get out of my house too. I was like, cause frankly, this was my last, that it was a last ditch effort. It was like, okay, well I'll hire him. And if maybe if he's working for me, then I won't feel so bad about paying all our bills and doing, cleaning the house and taking care of our dogs, everything by myself. Maybe I won't feel so bad about that. At least if he's contributing it at work, which he couldn't even be bothered to do that. I gave him the easiest job in the world and he could not do it because he is a, a, literally the laziest piece of 
piece of shit there is. And, I mean, he's that's his problem. He's going to have to figure that out down the road. But either way, so we're I break up with him. I'm like, look, I was like, we can try this later. I was like, but you have to get your shit together. I was like, clearly you are not going to do that with me here, right? So um, we break up. It had been, you know, a couple weeks or so. And I was getting to that point of, like, you know, when you go through a breakup, you start getting a little lonely. And I, I thought maybe I wanted him um, to come back. And I just got this gut feeling that I just needed to do a little bit of investigating first. And I investigated and figured out that he'd actually been cheating on me for six years. <laughs> like, like, so I'm, like, literally doing everything. Like, this man is just a lump on my couch. And he, like, that he can't even keep his dick in his pants. Like, what is, is he, like, I think he's, like, mentally not okay. Like, swear to God, there is something, like, mentally not right about him. Um, like, I just don't, I think, like, you just have to be, like, fucked up in the head to treat somebody that way. Like, how could you fucking cheat on somebody that's paying for you to live, you guys? Like, how? Like, I just don't know how somebody's brain could work. Like, how could you be that fucked up to somebody? Somebody that, like, you guys, I loved this stupid asshole so fucking much. Why? I don't, I couldn't even tell you why I loved him so much. Like, the thought of dating somebody, I'm sorry, I'm getting so mad, but, like, this is, like, it's six years of bullshit. So, anyway, the thought of, like, dating somebody else was so fucking, like, uh, like, I couldn't even think about it. Like, all I wanted was to be with this stupid asshole. And then, literally, he did, like, the one thing that, like, I can't take back. It's like, he fucking cheated on me. Like, I can never trust you again. I couldn't trust you before to even help me around the house or be a partner. And now you're cheating on me. It's just, like, unbelievable. Like I said, I, I don't, I cannot fathom how you could treat somebody that you claim to love, which I'm sorry, that's bullshit all day long. Um, cause the, the person he was cheating on me with was his ex-girlfriend that he was dating before me. And I think it was very much about making her jealous. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why he wrote it out for six years because I became successful. So he thought he would just ride on my, my coattails. Like you guys, when I got this van, he thought he had made it like straight up. Like he's just like, I'm done with life. Like I don't have to do anything else in my life. You know, like it was like a game over. Like he can just sit back while I do all the hard work forever. And like in his mind, this is how corrupt he, he was. And I know this is just like, we were really going there, but like in his mind, he didn't see the issue with that because he's like, you're making plenty of money. So like, why would you want me to contribute? Like, well, because sweetheart, I never asked to be somebody's sugar mama. Like I never did. And if I was going to like, you better be hot as shit, sweetie. He felt his prime was like six years ago. Okay. Uh-uh. And, but like, so let me just, I'm going to end it there because I'm clearly getting a little petty. Um, but yeah, it was like the whole situation I went through that I've been through for these like last few months. It's been so fucking unreal. Um, I had to kind of, well, not kind of, I did have to drop a whole group of people along with him because it was like, next thing you know, all these people that are friends with both sides who are truly just friends with his side, they were trying to play both sides. And I like realized like, uh, no, I see what you're doing. And then it, it was just a whole disaster, you guys. Like it taught me so much though, like about like trusting people blindly, like, because I always knew with him that he was, he was terrible to me. He was never, there was never a time that I can look back and been like, he was really good to me. Like not one time can I think back and say, you know, he did this and that was really good. It was like any time he ever did anything nice for me, it was because he'd just done something really fucked up. Like I remember one time, it was actually, and, and this is, it, it's my fault start to finish for letting somebody treat me like this. Like there's just no excuse on my part for accepting that and allowing it. And like I said, for like the longest time, the thought of even dating, even after me and him broke up, the thought of dating somebody else was like impossible. I, I talked to somebody, I've talked to one person seriously that I actually hung out with since me and him broke up and it was right after me and him broke up and I realized, I was like, I'm not ready for this and the last thing I wanted to do was hurt that guy when it wasn't his fault. Like the guy that I was talking to, he was so fucking nice and sir, if you were watching this, like you were so nice and I fucking really 
like to as a person, but I knew I was not ready. And I knew he wasn't it either. Like, I don't know. I, I was, I didn't want to, I didn't want him to be my rebound. Um, I, I, I didn't think that, like, because basically I think that's what I was to my ex was his rebound. Um, and I trusted him and I trusted his opinion on, on, you know, whether he was ready to move on. So when he's telling me he's ready and that, you know, he wants to be with somebody else and he's over his ex and whatever, I believed him and I shouldn't have, cause he wasn't. And, but at the same time, he should have been honest with me. Just like I was honest with that other guy. I told him, I was like, look, I'm not quite over my ex yet. And I don't think it's fair to lead you along if I'm not sure that I'm ready to commit because I think that guy was like super serious about me and I, I just didn't know if I felt the same way and I was like well the last thing I want to do is hurt this guy the way that my ex hurt me you know what I mean so I kind of had to make the big girl decision to like walk away and it sucked because he was, I really liked him I loved his group of friends I loved hanging out with all of them um but it just I just knew it was not right and I I didn't want to hurt somebody. I did not want to hurt somebody and make somebody feel the way that I had felt this whole time. Um, but yeah, so there was that. But you guys, I have hope in my heart again because for the longest time, like I said, the thought of like moving on was so hard. Um, and I didn't think there would be anybody that I could like as much as him. But <laughs> I'm not going to go too into this one. But I met somebody that fucking, oh my god, like this person, <laughs> he makes my heart fucking skip, you guys. Like, nobody have ever, like, it, it, <laughs> it makes me feel so stupid for wasting so much time on that other guy. Because I'm like, oh my god, like, if I had even known that this guy existed, it was like, I wouldn't have even thought twice about my ex. Because I knew how terrible he was to me. It was just like, I just believed, like, his, like, he was a love bomber, so he'd be really terrible to me. And then, like, I'd get mad at him, and then it was like, oh my god, I love you, I love you, I love you. So I thought that's what love was, but there is just something, like I said, I don't, I don't want to, because it's, it's not, it's not anything yet. But, God, like, just knowing that, because I thought I was going to be stuck on that stupid guy forever. I was like, what, do I just get to be single the rest of my life and lonely the rest of my life because I'm so stuck on this guy and nobody else in my mind can compare to him? Like, why? And then, like I said, I met this guy and it was like, like, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I just started up, like, it, it, like, he makes me feel like a little teenage girl again, like, giddy, like, laughing, like, <sighs> it makes it all okay, like, it literally makes it all okay, like, if I, the only regrets I have about my last relationship is not leaving sooner, like, I just, <sighs> yeah, and I just wanted to make this for somebody that, like, maybe they're also in a toxic relationship, like, I was in, like, the most toxic of all toxic relationships ever you guys and I was so head over heels in love with that guy and like I said there wasn't a guy like I could have walked into a room full of the most gorgeous men on the planet and I wouldn't have seen any of them for that fucking guy not a single one of them and actually the guy that um, <laughs> that one <laughs> he um I don't even know what I was gonna say because like every time I think about him it's like like a little girl like I feel like a fucking little girl again and it's like I never felt this way about my ex like never even th when things were good I really liked him and I thought the way I felt like him was like no other you know what I mean but if I would have stayed like clinging to that relationship then like I never even, even would have realized that this other guy was something I was so interested like it's like if I could have created my perfect person, that's this person, like, to a T, and I'm like, and I was wasting my time on this guy that could not have given a fuck less about me, like, literally, I don't think there's a person in this world that that man cares less about than me, like, he fucking, I, I don't know if he hated me, or, like, I, I really don't know what it was about, but, like, the way that he treated me was just, I can, I'll never understand it, 
I'll never understand it. It just, he just forever made me feel like I wasn't good enough, no matter how, how hard I try. And I swear to God, like, it doesn't matter who it is, even, like, a new guy or whatever, like, I don't care. I will never let somebody make me feel that way about myself again, ever. Like, because I know, like, you know, there's, there's so many people out there that will value you for who you are. And then why do we waste our time on people that don't care? That's always been me is wanting the ones I can't have. Um, or the ones that aren't emotionally available. That seems to be my type. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is there's hope and that it's going to be okay. So if you're dealing with the same thing, you're just recently out of a really bad relationship and you're dealing with the wounds from it, it takes time. It's been seven months before I could get to this point where I could say, like, you know, if the right guy walked in right now, I would be ready. Like, I would be ready. Not, like, I would just accept it and, like, take a minute. Like, no. I have, like, so learned. Like, I, my lessons are just learned. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you're like, I get it. I get it now. Like, it doesn't matter who it is. Like, because I thought, like, my ex was, he's just so special. He's, like, you know, just so cool. Like, he can treat me however. Like, no, fuck, he can't. Like, what does he do? He can't even keep a job, y'all. He can't even get it. I mean, I could be real petty, but, I mean, shit, he can't even, like, sweetie, he can't get a little 725, like, basic big bitch-ass job. He literally cannot. And I'm over here, I'm running my own business, you know? I'm doing my own shit. I'm fucking so proud of myself. Like, I am so strong. I never thought I would be able to be a girl that, like, is, like, single, you know? Like, I've always been so codependent that, like... I just can't believe, like, I'm a single girl, I live by myself, I run my own business, I work all day by myself, like, I feel so empowered, and I have this whole different idea of who I am and what I'm worth, and I guarantee you, I will never, ever let somebody else treat me like that, ever, even that motherfucker, I did, you watching this, honey, come back right now and see how much I've changed, because I would never tolerate that shit from anyone else at this point, um, because, yeah, it, it just wasn't worth it. I mean, he made me feel so low and so terrible about myself. And, like I said, I will never do that again. So, anyway, I'm at my house. Um, I hope you enjoyed my rant. Uh, my neighbors, I'll have to tell you guys about that another day. My neighbor's house caught fire um, a little while ago. And they're, they've got some guys next door working on some shit. So, anyway. I'm going to go and break down the van for the night, and yeah, thanks for listening to my rant. I hope it was empowering or helpful to somebody, and I need to get off my chest to be frank, so that's what we did, um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm so excited about this new vlog setup because I really miss the vlogs. I hope you guys missed them as much as I missed them because I love the vlogs. I love being able to ramble at you guys about nothing. You know how I am. I love to just talk. All right. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Say bye to Steve. Steve's here. Say bye. She said, there's some men over there. I don't like it. Okay. Don't show the world my titties, Steve. So I'm just a little anxious about those guys over there. I just don't know. Steve is real shy. I'm the only person in the world that Steve likes. <laughs> Steve and Nix. Steve and Nix. You good girl? All right. <laughs> I'm going to stop procrastinating. I'm going to end this. All right. Love you. Bye.